Now, I'm very pleased to yield two minutes to the gentleman from California, who knows a lot about the importance of economic growth, especially as it relates to small businesses. A distinguished member of the Small Business Committee, Ms. Hunt. The gentlelady from California is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank my colleague, uh, Chris Van Hollen, for the opportunity to speak today. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I think a budget is a reflection of our priorities. The choices we make about how to invest and spend have an impact on our American families. We must make it easier for hardworking Americans to own a home, to send their kids to college, and to have a secure and enjoyable retirement. That's why it's so important that we invest in our nation's ports, which create good-paying American jobs and sustain American businesses. Providing our ports and waterways with the funding and support they need is a high priority for me, and one that's shared by many of my my colleagues, especially the almost 100 members of the Bipartisan Congressional Ports Caucus. We know that America must invest more in our ports to remain globally competitive and to be prepared for the expansion of the Panama Canal, which will impact international trade and shipping routes. The budget we're considering today, however, does just the opposite. Cutting funding for programs that support American commerce is both short-sighted and harmful to the competitiveness of American businesses. I applaud the Congressional Progressive Caucus budget because it fully meets the targets we set in the 2014 WERDA bill for the harbor maintenance funding, using more of the revenue collected at our ports for its intended purpose of maintaining and improving ports and navigation channels. Let me emphasize that the Harbor Maintenance Trust Fund is self-funded. This is not new spending or new fees. Shippers already pay this tax to fund improvements that Congress is refusing to authorize. The Trust Fund now has a surplus of $9 billion in fees that America's ports have collected. But unless we act, these funds will not be used as intended to improve our ports. Can I have I yield the general lady another 30 seconds? The is recognized for additional 30 seconds. Thank you. I call on my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to join me in supporting a budget that returns this tax back to the ports where it's collected. And I want to thank the bipartisan group of 86 members who signed the letter Congressman Mustani and I sent to the House Appropriations last week calling for the Harbor Maintenance Tax Fund funding to be at the WERDA level. I yield back.